Flying into Canada for essential travel during the pandemic now requires proof you don't have COVID-19. We had to uh, go to a laboratory to get a test and then present it at the airports. I showed it to the border services and it was all good. The test must be performed within 72 hours of boarding with the expectation the results are available before takeoff. Without it, travelers will not be allowed on their flight. Most we spoke with today at Toronto's Pearson Airport think it's a good idea. Because someone in the plane sitting close to you, you have to be sure the person is negative. I feel like if nobody had a test, you kind of, you'd be a little bit worried. If your travel is essential, then there is no harm in, you know, providing the documents. Some say the 72-hour time frame can make things challenging, as travelers worry about getting the results in time to board. I got it almost uh, like about uh, two hours to my departure time. Others like Melanie Castrucci of Niagara say the test is unnecessary, given the low number of cases connected to international travel. Public Safety Minister Bill Blair has said it's about 2% of all cases since the pandemic began. It's not a really significant cause of transmission and we just felt it was a very unnecessary expense, a lot of stress um, for something that we don't feel is really doing a lot to protect people. Travelers are expected to find a place to do the test and cover the cost, which ranges from country to country. It only cost $50. About $80. It was $161. Air travelers still need to complete that mandatory 14-day quarantine once they arrive in Canada, but some tell me proof of a negative test should mean that time is reduced. They could do it for like seven, eight, nine days, a week or so. The government says the measure is designed to be an extra layer of protection and the point is not to reduce quarantine times. If passengers are flying in from a country where they can't get the test done, that means they're going to have to do their quarantine at a public health facility. Canada Border Services is also applying additional scrutiny to quarantine plans to make sure they align with all requirements.